All right, here we go. Question number 16 from our college algebra, homework number seven in my lab math. It says to evaluate the determinant. Here we have a three by three, three rows across, three columns up and down. And remember the vertical bars that look like absolute value? That is the symbol for determinant. So up here in this window, I'm going to show you how to crank out this determinant quickly. I'm going to show you a shortcut that other people may not know. So pay attention. This Again, this is a shortcut, but it makes you very efficient at finding uh, the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these first two columns and we're going to copy and paste to the outside of the matrix. So the 2, the 6, the negative 5, the 2, the 6, and the 4. Again, we're going to copy and paste those outside. Uh, there's no other reason to do that other than that it helps the shortcut work, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply down on the diagonals. Starting with this first diagonal, 2 times 6 is 12. 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. Next diagonal, 2 times 6 is 12. 5 times 12 is 60. One more time, 2 times 6 is 12. 4 times 12 is 48. And then we're going to take those three numbers and we're going to add them up. Negative 12 minus 60 plus 48 works out to be negative 24, and we're about halfway done, okay? Next step, we're going to change direction, which means I'm going to change color, and this time we're going to go up on the diagonals. Now, the reason I chose red is to help you remember when you change direction, you have to change the sign, okay? Okay. So just like if you're in red in your checkbook means you're in the negatives, going this direction means whatever we get, we're going to have to make it opposite, okay? Here we go. Negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. Thir negative 30 times 2 is negative 60. But we have to change the sign. Next diagonal, 4 times 6 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. That's positive. It becomes negative. One more time, negative 1 times 6 is negative 6, times 2 is negative 12, change the sign, and then add them up. Here we go, 60 minus 48 plus 12 works out to be 24. And now for the final step, these two numbers hanging off the end, they need to be added so the determinant is 24 minus 24, which is 0. That should be the answer to the determinant. And then I just noticed all these 6s here. I hope that's not a bad sign. Let's see. Bam! There it is. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.